Poncho fam! It is your host Poncho here for Poncho Studios and today I am super excited. I can't wait to get into this review. I am reviewing one of my favorite comic book characters. Let's get into the review in three, two, one. Here we are. We are not reviewing this comic book, but I wanted to show you, kind of give you a little hint of what we are reviewing today. We are reviewing Hellblazer's John Constantine. As you can see, uh, this is my one of my favorite adaptations of Hellblazer, aka John Constantine. He's one of my favorite DC characters. Favorite. I would say he's like my first favorite. Uh, I'll get into my other favorites later on down the road. But yes, we are reviewing, reviewing the Hellblazer, John Constantine. Let's look at the box. Oh my goodness, look at that box. This today is the 112 scale Mezco Hellblazer, John Constantine. Let's look at the box. Look at all the awesome items that come with it. A sword, a dagger, a chainsaw, you got hands. Look at this awesome artwork on the box. You know, I might keep this box because the artwork on here is amazing. Uh, small parts, don't put them in your mouth. You have Mezco over here. You have DC Comics. Uh, WB Batman logo. Of course, you have to throw the Batman logo in there because it's DC. And you have um, just on the other side, you have some amazing artwork of one of the comic book panels. Mezco Collector's Edition. Uh, as we go up a bit, you can see that there is the 112. Uh, collective pose, play, display. As we move to the, um, oh, another, here, let's, let me move the camera back a little bit. I know I don't normally do this, but this box is big, so, uh, 112. Look, there's some more of this awesome artwork. They have, uh, Mezco does a good job at doing the artwork and a good job at doing the figures. I tell you, I am super excited about this figure and let's um get into the bottom of the box like i said this box is huge so i might bring the camera back and forth excuse me a little bit why do that and turn it around on the bottom you got all your legalese ages eight and up warning okay this is a slip cover let's take off the slip cover oh there he is oh i'm so Super excited. There's Constantine in the box. Look at this man. Just look at it. Oh my goodness. I am just geeking out over here. And just the big Mesco uh, roach. That's their mascot, a roach. Um, just, just phenomenal artwork and how they display it. Oh my goodness. Just a lot of 112 collective. Now, when I, when I snap my fingers, he'll be released out of his cardboard packaging and plastic packaging and into my grubby little hands. <laughs> All right, here we go in three, two, one. Here we go, Poncho fam. Just to let you know, I'm super excited, so I apologize if I stutter or if I make up some words um, or mash up some words. I just really like this uh, figure. I really like this character. He's, like I said a billion times, he's my favorite DC character. Let's get into the man, John Constantine. Let's take a nice good look at him. Before I do that, I'm gonna take this comic book down. And so, here we go. Look at the eyes. Just look at the detail on these figures. These figures are Mezco's 112 Collective, which they make cloth goods and like almost like Mez Mez Mezcoify their figures. And he looks amazing. Just look how detail with the redness under the eyes, 
the, you know, the belt. That's a real leather belt. The tie, you know, and the shoes. Let's get into the articulation of the guy. Before we do that, let's take a nice good back look. There we go. All right, the shoe can point down about that far. Go about that far. And with the cloth goods, I don't really know. Um, I don't really know all the inner workings, uh, so just bear with me. I might get some things wrong. There is like a little bit of a boot or a shoe uh, turn here, going up to a double jointed knee. You can bend his knee, and boop, kicks his own butt. Magic wielding butt. Double knee. He has a thigh swivel. His leg can go back about that far. He can kick up. Now I don't want to rip the pants, so I'm not going to go further than I should. He can kick up about that far. He can do the uh, Chuck Norris splits. Moving up, he has a waist rotation and a arc back and a crunch forward. Uh, moving up to the shoulders, I believe that there is a butterfly joint I fill in there. That goes in and out, in and out. It can go all the way around, but I don't want to rip his, uh, I don't want to rip his um, shirt here. And go back. He has, he has a upper thought or upper arm swivel. He is double jointed. This peg is a universal peg, so that he can go this way or this way, depending however you want to use it. Moving back from the arm up to the neck, there is a neck joint going into the torso. It allows him to look forward a little bit. Back, can tilt his head. Moving up to the head. He can look down when he's pondering life. And what is he doing? He can look up. Now, uh, he can. you can get him into a flight pose if you want. He can look left, he can look right, all the way around. So let's get into the accessories of the man, the myth, the legend, John Constantine. Or Tyne, or whatever you want to call it. I call it Teen. I call it Constantine. Some people call it Constantine. Whatever. Moving on. Okay. To his, it wouldn't be Constantine without his patented tan uh, rain raincoat or rain jacket. He comes with also wouldn't be Constantine without his patented smokes. Which they do little sheet here they do fit into his mouth and here's a uh, like smoky cigarette you have it wouldn't, he wouldn't be a spellcaster without these spells these spell circles that's kind of pointy so be careful if you ever get Constantine There, he has these magic hands. He has two of these other hands. Here's like more splayed out hands. He has he has a like a trigger finger hand and a grip hand for items. He has this other trigger hand. He has like this um, kung fu grip. 
Mm-hmm. When Giant Castle wants to do some Kung Fu. Here is some hands with like magical cards. It wouldn't be Constantine in without his patent lighter. Look at the detail on that. Speaking of his lighter, here is the lighted up version of it. Here is a cross. And your word off those evil spirits. Here is a dagger. And you want to fight those evil spirits. Absolutely. That's pointing. Careful. Here is a magical lever action rifle. Look at the wood grain on that. Oh, and he even does an action. That is so cool. Look at that. And some more of his spell circles. Another thing of his spell circles. And when you want to get real crazy, here's a chainsaw when you want to dismember some nasties. And here we go with a smirking head. And here we go with a smiling or like a serious beat up head. And a, oh, so that was more of a smirk. This is more of like a, like, very big smirk, one eye, bruised face. And last but not least, his stand. Look how awesome that stand looks. It also comes with like a, a thing, so. All right, that is all the accessories. Whoo, that's a lot. Oh boy, he comes with a lot of stuff. So, we're gonna get into the size comparison. Here we go with uh, Fortnite Victor Royale meowsles there we go come on stand man oh well, he's kind of off kilter a little bit there we go all right he stands uh he's shorter than uh meowsles going to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles neck of the last Ronin. Again, he is smaller than him. Moving to Fortnite Jazzwares Doggo. And Super 7 Power. Power Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Ultimate. Moving those guys. And Star Wars Black Series, Wandering Jedi, Obi-Wan. And here we go with Articulate Icons. Dusk Ninja. As you see, he's taller than 
the Dust Ninja and Obi Wan Kenobi. And moving to Batman, uh, Thomas Wayne, um, McFarlane Toys, Flashpoint, Batman. And moving to Batman. Batman Mofex, Mafex, Hush, there we go, the Mofex skews a little shorter, so Kind of seems a little taller than Batman, but these guys actually team up in uh, Justice League Dark. Like, there's a Justice League Dark comic book where Batman, you know, he teams up with Batman sometimes. Also, uh, you know, he's also part of Justice League Dark, which has Swamp Thing, Zantana, Dead Man. I'm not gonna get into all of that, but. I will, um, because if I do that, I'm going to start geeking out and wasting more of my time. So, this has been my favorite review yet. I'll see you guys in the next review. Have a nice night or day, depending on where you are. And please do something for your mental health.